everybody, welcome to today's video. Today this video is all about this super easy and natural makeup look that I have on my face today. Super easy to go to work, to go run errands, hang out with your friends and all of that. So before you keep watching, please make sure you hit the subscribe button down below so you can keep up on the videos that I post. And please give this video a thumbs up to show me that you liked what I did. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in a minute. The thing that I am going to do is I am going to prime my skin. Today I am going to use the Cover Effects Illuminating Primer. This is just a mini sample of it. I find that it really just helps to keep your skin illuminated, moisturizing, and I find that it sticks really well to the skin. So I'm going to put this all over. So my next step is foundation, and if you guys have been watching my videos, you know that the only foundation that I use at this time of year is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. This is a great match for me in the summer because it has a yellow undertone tan shade. This is actually almost a little bit too late for me right now, but it's what I got, so this is what I'll work with. I just dot this all over my face before I blend it out. And I also make sure that I go onto my neck. And then I'm going to take a dampened beauty blender and just blend this all in. When you use a beauty blender, you don't want to swipe it because it, it's not the way that you get the best finish. You want to use really quick pouncing motions. So the next step is concealer. For the summer I use the Instant Age Rewind in the shade medium. It is pretty close to my skin tone right now so I'm going to just put a little bit on under my eyes, down my nose, a little V up there, down here, and right there. And then, right, and then I'm also going to take a really really small amount of the Tarte Shape Tape in the color Light Sand just to brighten up that concealer shade because it's not super dark or super light for me right now. So I'm just going to literally just add one little dot to all the areas I put that dark concealer to down there because why not. And I'm going to take the beauty blender and again bouncing motions to blend everything out. that's my skin done. So what I like to do, especially in the summertime, is I will bake my under eyes. Baking is basically when you pile on a bunch of powder and let it set into your skin. Then you brush away the excess and it just helps to prevent creasing and gives you a really airbrushed, flawless finish. So I'm going to take this pure sponge. It's almost like a beauty blender, but it has a flat edge and it's a more dense material. I'm not a big fan of it for putting on my foundation, but since it has the flat edge, it's really nice to press the bake on. So I'll start at the inner corner, look up and press all the way up. And you get this kind of pile of white powder. And you will just let that sit on your skin. So I am going to start with my eyebrows. And right now I got a sample of the Benefit Cabrow Cream gel brow pomade so it's like this it's normally in like a tube with a brush on the top but this comes with a brush on the top and the bottom twists off and there's this tiny little sample of the product so when you start your brows you always want to make sure that you brush your brows into the shape uh, the best shape that your hairs can go into so I always start in the middle and I brush up or start at the front and I brush everything up kind of up and out Kind of like you're doing like an N shape over and over. And then I'll just take the tip of my spoolie and just kind of brush down the top hairs. All right, so that part of my brows is done and then I always set my brows with some sort of filler fiber product. Um, I like to use the 
Essence Make Me Brow. So on the everyday, I don't do a whole lot to my eyelids. I will take the sponge that I use the powder on and just kind of dust that over my lids just in case I do have any excess oil on my lids. I don't typically do, but just in case that will set it a little bit and make it not super oily. And then I will just go in with the Hoola bronzer. I have a couple different pans of Hoola laying around, but I'm just going to go in with my Cheekathon palette one. And Hoola is in here. And I'll take Hoola, which is a bronzer, put it onto a fluffy brush, and just kind of work this into the crease, just to add a little bit of definition to my eyelids. And then that is that. And then I will take whatever highlighter I'm going to use for the day. Today I'm using the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. I will just take this on my finger and throw that under my brow bone. And into my inner corner. I might touch that up later, we'll see. Alright, so the next thing that I do is I'm going to kick off all of this bake. So I am going to actually take that Essence Pure Nude Highlighter again and just a tapered highlighting brush, which is totally destroyed. I use it all the time. Swirl it in, dust off all the excess, and I flick and brush it outwards. I don't ever go in. Always up and out. Then the next thing I will do is I will take a super large fluffy brush and I have this Smashbox Contour Trio. So it has a highlight, a contour, and a bronzer in here. And I'll just kind of take my fluffy brush and mix in the bronzer and the contour shade. And I'll just use this to kind of hollow out my cheekbones and bronze up my face all at the same time. So then one step that I have to do for my face is I will bake right under where I put the contour. I don't have super defined cheekbones, so I sometimes will make them a little bit too muddy and it blends down too far into my jawline. Take that angled sponge again, pack some on, and just pack on powder there. And that will just help clean up if you put too much bronzer or contour on. And I'm just gonna let that sit there while I finish the rest of my face. So the next thing that I am going to do is eyeliner. I'm going to use the Tartist Clay Paint Liner. I'm just going to use the angled brush that it kind of came with, coat the brush, and we'll see how this turns out. do is while my eyeliner dries and sets a little bit I'm going to do my blush I am going to take dandelion from the cheekathon palette it's just a benefit blush and a flat woo, a flat top stippling brush that really needs to be clean because I use it every day and brush that onto my cheeks back in with my Essence Pure Nude Highlight and re put that on. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take that big fluffy brush that I used earlier for the bronzer, dust it off to make sure there's not a whole hell of a lot of excess on there, and dust off that bake down there. And just kind of really quickly just make sure everything on the cheek is blended together. My next step is I'm going to curl my lashes. My lashes point almost straight down, so I tend to curl my eyelashes almost every time I put mascara on. So I'm going to do this really quickly. All right, and then I'm going to take the YSL The Shock Mascara. This is a newer find for me, and it is probably the best mascara I have ever put on my lashes. I just wish that it was waterproof. So on the 
every day. I tend to not wear a lot of lipstick or lip color, but because my lips are kind of covered in foundation, I am going to put something on. I got this, uh, this lipstick when I was in Switzerland. It's from the brand Catrice. I'm not entirely sure if they sell it here. I haven't seen it in Canada, I don't think, but I think they sell it in the States. And I am using the color 20 Macaroon. And because I just want a light wash, I'm not going to go from the tube onto my lip. I'm going to rub a little bit onto my finger. All right, so I'm going to take my hair down and I will show you guys the final look. All right, guys, so that is the finished look. I just took my hair down and ran a straightener through it really quick. I hope you guys liked this video. Please make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.